and this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Virgo for the whole of the year for 2016. It's going to be a bit of a mixed year. There's ups and there's downs. Let's deal with the planets first of all and then we'll summarise what's coming up for this year. Pluto seems to be working quite well for a number of you. Those of you born around the 7th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th of September, you're in a really good position this year. There's a great deal of um, solid transformation which is doing low level but constantly healthy wondrous work in terms of self-confidence, self-belief and psychological self-assuredness and this is going to be one of the years where you really do make things happen. Lovely. On the other hand, Neptune is directly challenging a few of you. And those of you born, those of you born in the last three days of August, you would have experienced this last year as being a really weird, vague, confusing and tiring year. And that's continuing for the first month or two of 2016. But by the time we're into March, it's going to be those Virgos born primarily around the first, second, third of September who are going to come under Neptune's eye and if you're one of these be aware that there is going to be an element of fatigue during 2016. Not tiredness, illness or disease but fatigue and weariness and you will need to take the occasional day out where you just go right I'm tired, I'm going home, I'm going to have a bath and then I'm going to bed or a walk in the country or a walk by the seaside. You'll need to get away from the manicness of life. Uranus, I'm pleased to say, isn't touching you. There's no sign of unpredictability or disruption, at least as far as I can see. Um, Saturn is. Saturn is going to be hammering you this year. A few of you are really going to come under Saturn's attentions. Those of you born from the 2nd through to the 9th of September, you're really likely to find that January through to September, I'm afraid, is going to be a difficult year. It's going to be a difficult nine months where you're going to have to do things the hard way and not take shortcuts. You're going to have to do everything slowly, gradually, solidly and bring words like structure, order and self-discipline into the equation. And it's better to do it willingly than be forced into doing it. And if you do it properly and if you don't take shortcuts and if you get stuck in, then what will happen is that you'll build long-term roots and foundations for the future. But alternatively, you can spend the year whinging about how hard your life is, but that's what Saturn does. He makes it hard, but if you do it willingly, he brings rewards as well. Um, Jupiter's in your sign. Jupiter, uh, over the period of January through to early May, is bringing retrospect and reassessment and re-evaluation into a number of your lives, particularly those Virgos born from perhaps the 5th through to the 15th of September. The first four months of the year is a time of reassessment. From May, over May, June, July, those same people can then move forward in a way that does bring solid, reliable growth and real windows of opportunity where you can take the cream, take the top 25%, not all of it. And those Virgos born after the 16th of September, you should find that the month of August and, and early September is actually very fortunate indeed. After this, Jupiter moves into Libra and doesn't touch you. A few of you are going to get hit by the Mars retrograde. And when I say a few of you, I mean primarily those born on or before August the 30th. If you're one of these people, please be aware that the time of March and April, as well as August, is going to be a time where your buttons can get pushed. And there will be the need to count to 10 during these times because there will be an element of provocation. And later in the year, there is a Mercury retrograde in Virgo in the first three weeks of September. Mercury will be retrograde in the second half of Virgo, directly affecting those people born on or after the 7th of September. And the first three weeks of September is really not a good time to be uh, buying a new car, buying a house, making long-term commitments or agreements because it's not going to work out the way you expect. It may well be that the period at the very end of August and the very start of September gets a bit superheated. So caution and prudence at that time. Here's my message for Virgo and for the whole of the world. 
And, um, well, yeah, as far as Virgo goes, a few of you, you're going to, especially those of you born in the first week and a half of September, you are going to have to look to your laurels and you're going to have to work hard this year. The later in Virgo you're born, the easier the year is going to be. Um, if I were to summarise Virgo's year, I would say as far as 2016 goes, Virgo, do what you're good at, actually. Have an industrious and focused year. See you next month. Bye.